Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another mukbang. Today is a very exciting mukbang because it's the mid-autumn festival and I'm going to celebrate it with you guys by eating mooncakes and having some tea. Before we get further into this video, I do want to do a quick mention of the coldest water bottle. They do have a weekly giveaway where you can enter with the link in my description box and you can also use the code TWAY for free shipping with the link in my description box. So now, without further ado, let's um, eat some mooncake. All right, y'all. I'm like really hungry, and I'm and these mooncakes have been sitting in my room for like the past week, and I've been very tempted to eat them, but um, I haven't yet, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself some tea. See if it's already done yet. Yeah, it is. Jasmine green tea with um, ginger. Mm. Is this like a, a, a tea spill channel yet? <laughs> I fucking hate those channels. Like, find something better to do with your lives. <sighs> so the reason why I decided to do a little mid-autumn festival celebration was because I grew up in Vietnam and we always celebrate the mid-autumn festival every single year and every single year I would make sure to get the coolest lantern just so I can walk around my neighborhood and flaunt it with the other kids and just like have fun and it's just like we celebrate it because we celebrate the moon we celebrate the full moon and it's just like a celebration that um, really made me feel nostalgic and I really love it. So let's just dig right in. I have a variety of mooncakes here. This mooncake is the mixed nuts with eggs in it and I'm gonna go ahead and open this because a lot of you guys might hate me for this but this is my favorite flavor of mooncake. Ooh, look at this, look at the glaze. It's so beautiful. Like, wow. Do you see that beautiful glaze? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right into it. Right in the middle. Ooh, right in the middle of that beautiful egg. Look at that beautiful salted egg with the mixed nuts oh my goodness they made this so perfect and beautiful and the reason why the mixed nuts is my favorite is because um there's just so much texture and flavor um and the added salted and the added egg really just puts it over the top honestly i'm gonna go ahead and take my first bite here Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet and salty and savory and nutty all at the same time. And uh, the dough on the outside is just so, it's like the perfect vehicle for all of the flavors. Mmm. Uh. So many textures in here and I love it. Mm. If you don't like mixed nuts, your um, taste buds are childish. <laughs> So good. Mmm. 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 I like how I just dove into this one without even explaining what the other ones are. So this one is also just like with the regular crust, I guess. Not really crust, but like outer layer of it. And this one is um, dao san. 
Now sun is soybean, I believe, right? 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 Hold up. Oh. Sun soybean. Oh no. Now sun is mung bean. Mung bean. So this is this has mung bean filling with two eggs, right? Yes. Beautiful. Like I can't get over it. Look at Look at the glaze. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Oh my god. Let me go ahead and cut into it. So this is the how the mung bean filling looks like. That looks quite interesting. It also has eggs in there, so let me go ahead and cut it into quarters. Oh my gosh, it has more eggs. So this one has two eggs in it gonna go ahead and try it I, I've never tried the mung bean so this is an experience okay it's more like a dessert this way the mung bean has a really subtle um, sweetness in it and it's very velvety and soft and there's um, the eggs that adds like the little saltiness to it I, I like it I dig it I don't hate it mm. Okay, mung bean, I see you. Go ahead and layer these two on top together. Let me see this one. What is this one? This should be interesting. It's probably like the same designs, but I can't get over how beautiful that looks. So, so pretty. I love mooncake decorations. Or I love like the way that they decorate mooncakes. It's so, it looks so intricate, you know? I appreciate the effort and the, the, the effort behind it. Oh. Okay, so it looks exactly like um, how the mung bean one looks like. But it definitely has a really strong um, durian smell. I've never tried it with durian, so this will be my first time trying it. Okay. Guys. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, this one is good. Okay. It's good if you like durian, and my ass loves durian. But I don't know if you can handle it if you don't like durian. But this, this is delicious. I think this has to be my second favorite. The, 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 the mixed nuts is still up there for me. Mmm. That's what my taste buds are doing in there. It's like, ah. <laughs> the sweetness from the texture from the green bean and the sweetness from the durian and the fragrance and the eggs. Oh. Mmm. My goodness. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to close your eyes and really let the flavors dance around your mouth and enjoy what you're eating because it's 
food is so beautiful like genuinely and truly so beautiful now you guys real now you guys see my like passion for food and like how much I love food and appreciate food That is amazing. Amazing. Okay. I'm kind of dreading these two because I've never liked any other, like, outer layers besides the original outer layer. But these are, like, kind of made from mochi. This one is, um, laosan. So it's mung bean, right? And then this one is called tap gam. Tap gam is kind of like a mix, but this doesn't say mix. It says... The ingredients are flour, sugar, salt, oil, vanilla oil, and red beans. I always stay away from the white ones. Because it has a smell that I don't particularly, particularly like, but it still looks so beautiful. Look at the design. I hope you guys can see that. It's always very beautiful to look at, but the smell always gets me. It's like a mochi outer layer, but it doesn't smell like mochi. Or it even looks like mochi on the inside. If you guys can see. Okay. I'm kind of scared to eat it. I don't want to gag. But I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. And I'm going to like it. It's not bad. I think it's just, I think it's just the smell for me. Yeah. Because the filling and the outer layer itself tastes fine. Like, it tastes phenomenal. It's very sweet. There's no um, saltiness in this. But, I don't know. I, I would not, I would not buy this, you know? Yeah, that's, that's hard for me to eat, I have to say. Let me try the green one. I don't know why it has the numbers on it, but it does. But look at the flower. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh! It's the mixed nuts! You guys, it's the mixed nuts! Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I, it got me really happy and excited, so let's see. Mmm, smells so good. I like that. I enjoy that. So not a fan of the outer filling, like the outer layer. I prefer the original um, brown outer layer better. I'm gonna go ahead and eat um, this mixed nuts with the eggs. Mm. This is my childhood right here, y'all. Mm. Every year around this time in Vietnam, you start to see lanterns in like restaurants and like just businesses outside. You start to see people selling lanterns and then it's just very festive around this time of the year over there. Mm. I think my earliest memory of um, the Mid-Autumn Festival is like burning. <laughs> my uh, lantern on accident because the lanterns that we have over there it was like 
I mean, we weren't rich, so we just got, like, whatever lantern, like, the paper lanterns, and then, like, we put, um, a little candle in the middle so it can be, so it can light up, and, like, you have to really be careful when you, like, swing the lanterns around, but, of course, I wasn't, and boom, mmm, The texture is in there. All right. This will be for my mama because she eats everything that I don't like. <laughs> she keeps asking me to save. Um, she keeps asking me if I've, like, finished with my mukbang yet because she wants to eat some of this, too. I separated the ones that I want to leave for my mom and my little sister and my stepdad gonna go ahead and finish this um durian and the mixed nuts because oh, they're my favorite nah. okay let me do the durian mm. so good so freaking good The process of making mooncake too is so tedious that I don't even like want to think about it. <sighs> My favorite. Mm hmm. There's like little bits of the Chinese sausage in there mixed with like the sweetness of whatever that's in there um, and the nuttiness from all the nuts. Oh my God. Who, who came up with this? Whose genius idea was this? Because, wow. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for celebrating um, the Mid-Autumn Festival with me. I hope you guys have a great one. You can find more of me on Instagram and Twitter at Toyota Bay, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.